Hi Capricorn, welcome back. You will be familiar with the cards I have in front of me. These were the cards that came up in your general reading. First of all, I'd like to explore love, romance and relationships. I really think a lot of internal things is going to change you, okay? It's going to change how you think about love, how you think about things, how you talk to people, how you connect. But I do believe there's some sort of inward revolution, so to speak, that will spark change within a relationship. So let's have a look and see how romance will fare for you in April. The strength card, wow, it's going to strengthen your bonds. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, the Empress, the Four of Cups, and last card, the Magician. Okay, the strength card, this is a Leo coming through for some of you. The strength card here is sitting next to the Angel with the Eight of Cups. You strengthening, it, it's you strengthening your spiritualism. This is what's going to bring you clarity and strengthen a situation here. Whether you're male or female watching this, this shows how you'll change. You'll come back bigger, better, stronger than ever before. If you're trying to heal yourself from a certain situation, a breakup, something toxic that has happened... Um, if you're still healing or dwelling with the moon card energy here, this I feel like April is a very uh, pivotal month for you because you'll actually come out of it. You'll come back bigger, better, stronger than ever before. You're the inner lioness, that inner lion that'll come out and show the world. This is a Leo. For those that are dealing with a Leo, I think you've got marvelous things happening between the two of you. Not sure if this person is at a distance or right now you're separated or there's a bit of back and forth here, um, traveling in between each other's places and seeing each other and things like that. But I'm seeing beautiful, strong ties that will happen here, liberation, karmic energy between the two of you that will come forward in a very beautiful way in the month of April. For those that are dealing with another earth sign, your sister sign, Taurus, uh, Virgo, or a fellow Capricorn, I see renewed opportunity between the two of you. This position, whether this is you that's in a position to give help or receive help, this is going to do marvelous things for your relationship. Now, this, of course, could be a new person coming in. You might connect to this person through career, through places of charity or finance. Um, I'm seeing a one. This is a definitely wonderfully gifted to you from the universe, the gods, the beautiful angels that we see here, possibly in addition to the family as well is coming through. Um, because you do have the magician, which is new starts, new beginnings. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that there's an opportunity to settle down with someone. But I feel as though this will come only after you have some sort of inward revolution. Only once you spark that internal change, Capricorn, will you allow this person in. Now, the Queen of Swords has come up twice. I do see a very strong mental connection bet between you and someone else, okay? Even though you're not an air sign communication um, you'll be talking to this person differently connecting over different things suddenly you may find, find that common interests um, between the two of you are in plenty but great direction this shows up the both of you you're, you're, you're facing the same direction here okay so you're both communicating very well, especially if you are dealing with a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. I'm seeing wonderful communication between the two of you here. So this is quite powerful. Now the Empress, definitely if you're dealing with a fire sign. What am I seeing with the Empress here? There's changes happening within uh, with a fire sign between you and a fire sign. The Empress rules uh, Venus energy. So she could rule Taurus or Libra here, but it could be a fire sign because the sun is quite potent here. So an Aries, Sagittarius or Aries um, or Leo, sorry, which came up here. Uh, and the Empress points to transitions, metamorphosis, change, facing the sun, harmony, creativity. The sun also rules children and youthfulness. So definitely children, thinking about children, planning children or inviting more children into your life is on the horizon if you are dealing with a fire sign. But you're looking to the sun, things are looking up and I like that you're also, you, the, that the fire sign has the world in front of them because they're seeking adventure, passion, creativity or children and family with you Capricorn. 
Moving on, you have the Four of Cups. If you are dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces or Scorpio, which came up, there's definitely something very deep happening here. It's almost like you'll receive something from the universe. I do believe that inward revolution within yourself will be the catalyst for this Capricorn. But I am seeing with the Four of Cups, the Moon and the Eight of Cups, something is going to change with the Water sign. You could receive validation of Twin Flame energy because the Mermaid can see her reflection here. It's either one of two things. You're mirroring each other. You're finally coming, uh, you're finally learning who you really are because the mirror does not lie. It, it doesn't warp our perception. It's, it relays back to us exactly what we are. So either someone is mirroring your behavior in a very powerful way. This would be a water sign mirroring your emotions even or you're going to receive you know this this divine energy he is going to show you that this person is your twin that this person is meant to be in your path for a reason and i did mention you not being the same um, not being the same as 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 you are by the end of this month there is a change happening here you will think about things differently um you will initiate things differently the magician card is all about initiation new starts new beginnings wonderful new manifestations that make our way that make their way into our life this could be an Aries for some of you, if you or if you are dealing with this person already um i feel like you're a step you're manifesting new things with this person however I do believe you've got a new love because the Magician and the Ace of Pentacles is coming up. So you've got an opportunity for a new romance here. One that's extremely deep. One that you've been searching for. There's a strong spiritual element. He almost looks fairy-like. He looks otherworldly. So this is almost what you can classify, what you can deem Capricorn as a supernatural connection. Very, very powerful. Very, very beautiful. Let's move on and have a look at your career. Capricorn career romance. Okay, possibly a second income stream with the two of pentacles here. Trying to make things juggle at work. Trying to make things um, run very smoothly is what I'm seeing. Also new opportunities in the form of the ace of cups. Very nice. Two of pentacles. This is definitely you doing the juggling act because you are the pentacles. There will be the need to protect your finances, assets, and creative elements here. You've got the judgment card here. So again, I'm not sure if you're showing the world your ideas, if you're showing important people your ideas for feedback, for criticism, to be reviewed, to be marked, possibly studies, essays, uh, documents, creative projects, um, dissertations, whatever it is. It's something that's quite important and it has your name attached to it, Capricorn. So I'm seeing that you're going to need to protect it because you have the Four of Pentacles. It's obviously your baby. It's very important to you. You need to protect it. You can't You can't be too, um, you can never be overprepared because the, the, the hermit is here. So, and he looks to the Four of Pentacles. So, and he, he's very switched on. So Virgo energy, being analytical about a situation, wising up about a situation here. But for some of you, there is two different income streams. And I did mention some sort of funding happening here. You might be offered two different offers or counter offers is coming up for you. Could be in relation to a divorce, um, some sort of contract here over custody, over children, over um, investment properties, overseas stocks and things like that is coming up as well. Either something between you and a collaborator or you and a company. Company assets, budgets, finances are coming up here as well. Uh, the Hermit card, there's, there's going to be a period in April where you're going to possibly encounter critical, critical feedback. This could also be you being a little bit hard on yourself, Capricorn. You're being a little bit harsh on yourself here for some of you with the Hermit card. This could, of course, just be a Virgo around you that's being their typical analytical self here a lot of communication coming in from this person but i feel like this is you i also feel like the hermit is actually overlooking your work so i'm not sure if this is a judge a teacher a marker a boss but someone in a position to do so someone quite elevated is peering into your work here and if they're coming in with virgo energy they're all about mentality um criticism feedback judgment review inspiration I feel like this, this person is here to judge your work in some way, shape or form. He'll provide you feedback, very important feedback for you in regards to finances or a creative pursuit. 
What I love here is that you have the sun, you're oozing with creativity this month. The sun rules youthfulness, creativity, things being illuminated, things in the spotlight. I do believe you're sharing something very important with a lot of people, um, whether they're professional, whether they're friends, but this is something quite creative coming from you. Um, could be a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius here with the sun. You might be sharing it with this person and they do have international connections. I feel like they're very well connected or they can open you up to networking opportunities. But again, be careful. You need to protect this because I feel like it'll fall to many eyes. This venture, this, this project, this idea um, will be received by a lot of people or will be shared by a lot of people. So just be mindful of that. Um, it could include working with children here as well, funding children, funding creative pursuits with the Sun card um, as well. You do have the beautiful Ace of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, I, th I feel it's a Cancer, might offer you a new opportunity with the Ace of Cups. You'll genuinely be very happy to receive it. New opportunities, it's a very rewarding opportunity. Possibly something very closely aligned with your soul's purpose, your soul journey, something you believe you have a forte for. It genuinely would seem very rewarding, Capricorn. So I think it's definitely an opportunity of a lifetime around career or excelling your career or existing skills during the month of April. Um, it could involve spirituality, religion, travel, tourism, communication, client relations, logistics, um, it could be a, quite an, an expert field, a sought-after field, because you have the Hierophant here as well. Um, this could also be romantic. Some of you might have a work romance, okay, that can eventuate in the month of April. It might be initiated by a water sign, someone older, already married, or has had marriage before them in their recent past. Could be a Taurus here as well, or this offer of new work or creative pursuits might be offered by a married friend, for example, or a married colleague, but there could be marriage connected to them. Some of you are changing career paths. It's something you wanted to do for as long as you can remember here. Uh, it requires a lot of study, a lot of intellect, a lot of dedication of time, of energy, uh, possibly a lot of education that is linked to this, but it'll all be worth it with the Hierophant here. This could be your dream career that's coming up for you in the month of April. It's Taurian energy. It can come with a hefty paycheck. It can come with a lot nice office. It might come with many benefits, with a certain element of prestige because the Hierophant is seen as someone embedded with wisdom, old age wisdom here. And that's grown and flourished into something very beautiful, very profitable, very promising is what I'm seeing here, Capricorn. So this is very nice. It could, of course, be a Taurus coming in around some of you. Um, if you do have a Taurus, this person is coming in with a very benevolent energy, as is the Virgo, I believe. They're here to help you in some way, and I think this person, this Taurus, I see earth signs around you, um, around the workplace, or it's, it's matters of finance, or tools of trade, or anything in the physical realm here. Because that Hierophant energy can represent possessions, owning, having things, um to yourself it is sitting near the two of ones i'm wondering if this is an international con um, opportunity here or there'll be potential to grow to an international basis here so things could be in the early stages here the sun could in um could indicate uh innocence and you did have children with the judgment card so maybe there's a business idea or a new business you may be working for that's still in its very early stages so something hasn't happened with it yet it's still in the beginning stages there's a lot of growth but i'm seeing internal growth and there could be marvelous expansion into the world here launching on an international global platform um capricorn so this is very good it's also near the queen of swords there's big plans here i'm seeing big plans in business and or career and there's obviously a reason why you'll be nurturing and protecting those plans they can bring you a lot of money but i am seeing there's a bit of a juggling act here not sure if you're juggling between a Virgo and a Taurus. The notion of two, the two of pentacles, the two of ones, or toying with the fact if you should create an online venture. Some of you might have an online thing happening, but whilst at the same time traveling 
or you might have to travel for work. I do see expansion. You might be sent out on something here or an opportunity to expand to a different division internationally or through different states or cities may open up for you as well in the month of April. I will leave it at that though, Capricorn.